Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the camp cards from Bradley Mountain. Who is Bradley Mountain? Uh, Bradley Mountain is a San Diego based uh, company. There are a couple of designers, there's actually four of them, uh, and they, what they do is they make outdoor uh, products like bags, um, caps, uh, it's kind of like urban outdoors. They source only natural materials and they work very hard to create durable goods that could even outlast you. If you'd like to learn more about Bradley Mountain, you can visit them at bradleymountain.com. These cards, the camp cards, they were designed for people who like to venture onward and live adventurously. Now, the designer of these cards, they were illustrated by a graphic artist who goes by 1924 US. Now, 1924 US is a gentleman named Christian Watson. Uh, he does a lot of branding and uh, uses a lot of reclaimed items. He considers himself also a journeyman and he lives out in Oregon. The tuck case is very much outdoorsy. It says live adventurously up there and then it has the Bradley Mountain uh, logo right there. And the, the black field is surrounded by just these outdoorsy icons. Uh, one side simply says playing cards. The other side, this is a match strike. What is that? Well, it's that little rough patch that you'd find on a matchbook. So you could actually take these cards and take a match and light it across the side and you'd have a lit match. So that is pretty cool. The bottom has some ad copy about Art of Play, which is Dan and Dave's card uh, design company. The tuck seal, if you look closely at it, you'll see that it's a compass that actually will show you north, south, east, and west. And then again, you have the Bradley Mountain logo on the back. And then also you'll see on the inside tuck flap, uh, it's got those same kind of like outdoorsy adventure icons. It says adventure onward and live adventurously. The inside tuck flap says play fair, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. They do have an air cushion finish and modern emboss and if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish you can click the link below in the description. The back design of the cards looks like the back design of the deck. Uh, it's just the Bradley Mountain tent and it says venture onward across the top and live adventurously across the bottom. It has a medium sized white border against a large field of black. With this deck you're going to get a couple of things. Uh, one, you're going to get a Bradley Mountain ad card and the second card says how to stay alive in the wild with with only a single playing card. With this deck, you're gonna get two identical jokers. They are birds uh, with their wings elevated up and at the bottom, it does say joker. You'll also notice these cards are printed on a large field of black. They are a black-faced, borderless face uh, against a bordered back. Your Ace of Spades is the only card like this in the deck. Uh, it is a skeletal hand peeking out of a cuffed sleeve shirt with an ace up its sleeve. Your pips and indice cards, again, are gonna be in that large field of black, and all of the pips and indices have been reworked. Um, the black cards are white, and the red cards are also white. Uh, you're gonna see original graphics in both the uh, numerics in the corners and the pips themselves. The jack, queen, and king um, are going to be the same from suit to suit. So every single jack in the deck is a fox, and every single queen in the deck is a bird, and every single king in the deck is a bear. This was a limited release of 2000, and so if you would like to purchase your own, you can head on down to danandave.com or artofplay.com. That is it for this deck review. As always, recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and Instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.